the key areas that I've broken it down for uh, FLW athletes would be um, focus on uh, whether it be a fitness test or not, improving your ability to um, work at 80%, 80 to 90% of your speed um, because we want to make sure that we're, um, you're able to repeat those high intensity efforts consistently over the four quarters. So efforts like uh, having one, at least once a week where you go 40, 40 meters, 50, 60, 70, and probably no longer than 80 meter efforts. Or if you're doing time base anywhere between 10 to 20 second efforts. So it's short in duration, but the intensity is high and therefore the rest period to in, allow that intensity is anywhere between one to two, anywhere to one to, to four, or even one to five, uh, if you need it. Uh, this will improve the, the, how well you're moving. Um, so your running economy will, should be efficient. In that session, I would also add in some shuttles, as I mentioned before. So you might have a five meter shuttle, a 10 meter shuttle, and even, even a 15 meter shuttle. And you can layer in, in your, let's say you do a set of five 40 meter efforts and you're going every uh, 30 seconds, let's say. Uh, and then you complete three five meter shuttles straight after those 40 meter efforts. So you're, you're practicing um, dropping your body height, um, being stiff through your ankles and driving off your toes in, in a lateral plane, not just working in straight line um, as you would need to on the footy field. So drip feeding in those shuttles, practice um, dropping your body height and doing a forward ex hard acceleration for five meters and then putting on the brakes and, and stopping and really hinging in the hips. So you, that will be really important for uh, injury prevention, but also from a performance point of view, so you're in that athletic position. So you can change direction, jump, get a ground ball, and, and you're ready for that next play. So practicing change of direction, practice uh, accelerating, and also being able to efficiently break as well would be a key area that I'd be focusing on on your repeat speed day. In terms of the gym, I'd be really attacking the contested side of the game. So for me, that would be um, working on your ground balls, making sure you're not hinging and losing that abdominal tightness by hinging at the spine, but you're actually hinging at the hips for your ground ball. So strengthening you in things like, uh, RDLs, trap bar deadlifts, really strengthening that posterior chain, not only to help for ground ball ability, but that's going to help with um, you about to keep your feet. Um, they're, they're incredibly strong muscle groups around the hips. So we want to make sure that we're really targeting that over the off season. So look at the exercises in our lower body strength playlist on our YouTube channel for a good reference of some of the drills that I talked about and, and how to perform a successful rep in terms of technique. I'd also be throwing in in the gym some jumping work, really working on your ankle stiffness, so plyometrics, uh, and making sure that we're getting some drills in there where you're focusing on um, weight through the front of the foot. So in those that loaded acceleration position, whether it be on a sled or, or against the wall, um, and you're focusing on pushing down and, and putting that putting that force straight into the ground behind you to help with um, projecting your hips and shoulders out in front. In terms of the podcast this week, I just interviewed Jasper Fletcher. He is a AFL draft prospect for the 2022 draft. Um, and he's also a eligible for the father-son as well as Brisbane Academy at the Brisbane Lions. Uh, so his podcast is going to be released on Wednesday. Our live chat will be with Scott Dickinson, who's working with the Australian swimming team. So really looking forward to having Scott on. I actually did my ASCA level three, the Australian Strength Conditioning Association level three with Scott. And you could tell the amount of respect he had from some really high level coaches uh, in the course, uh, how much respect they had for Scott. And I've, he's been highly recommended um, by guests that we've had on the show in the strength and conditioning world. So really looking forward to chatting with Scott, all things leadership, culture, and of course, physical preparation for high performance. And then on Sunday, we'll have our bite-sized episode with Dave Kennett, which is a, he's at Shaw School, private school, and he's a strength and conditioning coach there. So that is a snippet from our recent collab event.